okay welcome guys so this is a video where i'm going to be explaining how you can connect your domain name to your hosting so you can then install wordpress now the way that um domains and hosting work is that if you buy your domain from the same company for example this is paddy host this is why i normally used to buy my hosting because they actually have um, um good um hosting so but the thing is that their domain names are quite expensive and i can find a way of getting it at a cheaper price which is what i get from namecheap.com but the thing is that if i'm to buy hosting from um party host at the same time it could be easily connected together and my website will be set up for me once and for all but that's not always the case sometimes you might need to buy in a situation maybe you are on a tight budget you might need to buy uh, maybe a dot com domain at a cheaper price so you might go to Namecheap and want to get a um, domain name. Now, whenever you do this, the websites will not be connected together. They will not be connected to you. You will have to manually connect it yourself, which is what I'm going to show you today. So right here, right here, I have in my, this is my Namecheap account. I have a particular domain name, which I bought some months ago, but I never used it. So I bought it last year, February 14th, life of a single person, <laughs> just kidding. Okay. So I bought this, um, domain name, photolinks.com, January, actually February 14th, Valentine's day. <laughs> and I, I used it once, but I suddenly stopped halfway. I'm this kind of person who stopped halfway, but that's not the main concern. So this is actually expiring very soon because we're on 27th of January, but there's still time. So I don't want this to use the basic name chip hosting. So at the moment, if I say photolink.com, it brings me to this hello world page, which I reset to the WordPress page. But now this is actually using uh name chip web hosting, but I want to switch it to my party hood um party host um hosting because I don't want to use them again. I want to show you guys how to connect party host and name chip together. So what you want to do is that when you you um if you are in your dashboard you make sure to select um, the one that you want to do and make sure you select sometimes manage will be here but for my own you just select manage when you select manage you scroll down now you see this place that say name cheap web hosting dns now under this that's um sometimes you will not see name cheap web hosting dns but under this name servers here it's actually going to ask you what we'll call dns domain name servers just for future i don't i can't really explain what they mean like that but that's what they normally use in connecting a server to a domain name so how do we do that so you want to click on this to bring you up to bring a um, dummy template so when you now click on it you select custom dns so it's not acting for name server one name server two now if you've bought um hosting from party host they will give you information of the name server of your name server so this is one of my information please don't copy this because by the, you will not be able to access it at the same time so by default if you want to access a website normally it's with ip addresses but domain name makes it easier to remember so um the name servers that we're talking about this is also it here so for party host the first one that they have is ns1.partyhost.com so i'm just going to copy this i'm going to go to the domain under this name server one i click on ns1.partyhost.com um, i come here again i open this up i copy this and i paste it and i come here and paste it here ns2.partyhost.com and whenever i do this i come to this um check sign and click on save it's now going to save now this domain name once it's done saving it actually takes sometimes to take effect but sometimes it activates almost immediately but i did not know how soon to activate in this one sometimes it takes a longer time but once it activates you will see it's working so at the moment if i should say um photolinks.com again okay it's brought up the old one but very soon it's actually going to switch because it will take them some time to actually rearrange it so this is how to connect your domain name to um, your hosting. I'm going to post post this now till when it has been changed. Then I will come back to this. So guys, unfortunately, I just checked right now, and I figured out it hasn't still activated yet. Like I told you, it can take up to forty eight hours or sometimes even less. 
but for this video it seems to take longer than possible so i just said let me cut the video short here um in the next video i'm going to make sure it must have activated and i'm going to show you how it is then the next video we are going to be installing wordpress i'm going to be showing you how to install wordpress directly from the cpanel tool i showed you in the last video i'm going to show you how to install wordpress there the proper steps to take so that you don't make any mistakes and have issues when working with the wordpress so that's all for this video see you guys later